So here's a bit of interesting retro gaming technology. This is the stick. This is a joystick, an early joystick, that used motion sensors to control your movements. It is made by a company called Datasoft, and this is probably one of the earliest examples that I can think of at an attempt at motion-controlled gaming. So if you think things like the Wiimote and the Kinect and whatnot are new, uh, this predates it by quite a number of years. And if you look at the box, you can see on the bottom it says copyright 1981. And on the top of the box it says for Atari 800 and 400, for the Atari VGS and the Commodore VIC. There's no mention of the Commodore 64, so this thing even predates the Commodore 64. If you look at the side panel, there's a little bit of product blurb here. It says, the ultimate goal in microcomputer hardware. Add more control and realism to your personal computer or home video game. With simple one-handed movements, you can maneuver your sights in any direction you want. The large red push button on top provides a quick and accurate firing mechanism for better response time. The stick will eliminate all the frustrations you experience with conventional joysticks or keyboards. The stick, the joystick of the future. The future is now. On the other side panel, you can see a depiction of somebody holding it. And some of the quick features, the easy to grip handle one-handed operation, motion detectors to sense hand movements, large push button on top, and squeeze switch to freeze motion. And their comment about frustration with conventional joysticks is pretty valid because at the time your typical joystick was this. This is a genuine Atari 2600 joystick and they're pretty hideous. Uh, I mean, you got one button, and it's very uncomfortable to hold. And play this for a couple hours, and you would develop uh, a sore thumb and you know, sore hand. So this, these were just uncomfortable joysticks, and there were dozens and dozens of third-party joysticks. But it's a Atari 2600 joystick which is common for all the Atari game systems, the Commodores, and probably a lot of other systems. If you open it up, this is the joystick. It's basically a joystick without the base. And inside, I am assuming, are Mercury switches, which would detect what direction you're going in. There's your fire button. I don't know what this uh, I don't know what this squeeze switch to freeze motion is. I don't really feel any other squeeze on this thing. And like an Atari to joystick it plugs into any Atari compatible port. So I am going to use a game to give you a quick demo and this is Jupiter Lander Kart uh, this is I think actually the first game that was available for the Commodore 64 when it was released but I am also going to run this on an SX64 this is an SX64 that I've been working on to repair and there's uh, no better way to test it out than to play some games so what I will do is Plug the Jupiter cartridge into the port, and then I gotta plug the joystick into the back. I'm not gonna show you that because I'm too lazy to move the camera. But I'll do that. And back this out a little. Turn off the light and turn on the SX64. And 
and Jupiter Lander. If you're not familiar with Jupiter Lander, it's a very easy game. You have to maneuver the spaceship to land. So I've got my little stick over here. Push the fire button. There's my spaceship. See if I can try to get to the the ten points over here. Uh oh, I'm going too fast. Oh, I'm gonna crash. Nah, that's pretty much it. I'm almost out of fuel too. I'm not gonna be able to make it. Well, game is over anyway. Uh, anyway, this is the Lee Stick. Uh, I wouldn't consider it a success. I really don't remember this back in the day. Um, and I really don't think it rates a footnote in the encyclopedia of video gaming. Um, but it was probably an idea uh, which was too far ahead of the technology. Um, it would take, I guess, another... 30 years for the technology to catch up. Like I said, it's a digital joystick, so you can basically go up and down, left and right, and that's it. Not a lot you can do with it. So anyways, that is the stick joystick. Thanks for watching.